welcome back to We Talk Cricket. You've seen the title. You know why you're here. You know what we are here to discuss. Basketball. The terminology or play style, I should say, that the England cricket team have adapted and have continued to carry through for a lot of tests right now and are also receiving some high criticisms for. Now the real question is, is it good or is it bad for cricket? Which is it? Is it good or is it bad for the English cricket? Hmm, this is what we're here to discuss today as fans. I know a different video, but we gotta dive into this and we gotta talk about it. Everybody's been given their own opinions and I feel like hmm, maybe they haven't been technically fair. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's define exactly what basketball is. Honestly, couldn't find a real good definition for it anywhere, but finally managed to find something that I may probably agree with, but it basically is this. Basketball is a style of test cricket in which the batting side attempts to gain the initiative by playing in a highly aggressive manner. Now, this term basketball is an informal term and was coined by an ESPN Crick Info UK editor, Andrew Miller, during the 2022 English cricket season. Basically, all they're saying is, hey, basketball is super aggressive cricket. Because when you hear the word highly, you think super aggressive. Hmm, interestingly enough, I honestly don't think that's the kind of mindset Brendan McCollum has right now for the English cricket team. I have a feeling he wants them to be aggressive, but he also wants them to play fundamental and basic cricket. So now you gotta ask yourself, well, hold on there. But why are we seeing two things? We seen them losing by 400 odd runs. We seen them get bowled out for 100, 145. What's going on? Where is the missing link? So let's talk a little bit about it, all right? Let's talk right now. Series so far, since Brendan McCullough has taken over, and England has implemented this new basketball tactic. Six series so far. They have won three of those series, drawn two, and lost one. The current one they're playing versus India. Matches, total matches won, have been 12. Total matches lost have been seven. It's basically been, it's, it's basically been a win or lose situation with this basketball tactic. All right? There hasn't been like, hey, yo, like, um, we gonna try to draw a match or something, man? No. No, 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 no. No, no. If that's what you were thinking, you were clearly wrong. Nothing of the sort. They actually want to see results come from these matches. Now, the question you have to ask is why? Now, think, think back to where test cricket was a couple of years ago before COVID. We weren't even seeing that many test matches being played. In fact, even now, more international teams have scheduled ODIs and T20s versus test cricket. And I'm like, but test cricket started off. It, it is the birthplace of basically what we have today, all the formats we have. You know? So what exactly is going on here? Hmm. So technically now, is playing the basketball tactics such a bad thing? England recorded a net run rate of 4.73 during the 2022 to 2023 season. The highest ever. In okay? Ridiculous. In one test series, I think there were like six runs per over. That's ridiculous. Now I know what you're thinking. Was it all just slugging? Were they just gunning after every ball? Then, no. Then they were picking the deliveries they, they, they wanted to hit and hitting it, and then going back to the basics and fundamentals of the game. So now you gotta think, what's happening now with India? What exactly is going on there? And I think the focus has definitely shifted for them. I definitely think the players as individuals and as a team have lost sight of what the true purpose of this tactic was. It wasn't just to be overly aggressive. It was to be aggressive but to include the fundamentals of the game. Putting the two and two together to basically push for a positive result in their favor. Not the case. Not the case. I know everybody's like, yo, but man, they're just struggling so bad. Bass ball the beetle. Look at all the headlines you see coming. One, two, three, four. But we seem to have forgotten the other headlines. Wow, new bass ball tactic did this. New bass ball tactic did this and this and this. And I'm like, look, is it for the good? I definitely believe so. 
Now, Brandon McCullum doesn't want it termed basketball, but it's only because of, of his nickname, Bass, you know, from when he played cricket, so they're just terming it down. But in all likelihoods, I definitely feel like Brendan wants his team to be aggressive but include the fundamentals of the game. To push for a result, but to do it as a team. To bring back fans to help them realize that cricket is an enjoyable sport. Test cricket is an enjoyable format. Because let's look, let's look at some stats from the ECB um, report that they pushed out for 2023, just last year. They have been seeing high numbers, more attendance coming in for cricket games, not just for men, for women. Could this be an effect of basketball? Yes, it could also be an effect of good marketing, all right? But they're also seeing more families come into the game. They're seeing more youngsters involved and wanting to play and much, much more. We are seeing more positives than negatives come from this right now. So definitely really good. So now you got to think about it. So is every team going to adopt basketball? Should every team adopt basketball? No and no. I don't think so. I think every team should play cricket the way they know how to play cricket. West Indies should play cricket the way they know how to play cricket, in a Calypso style. England can play basketball because that's what they're pushing and that's what's been more successful for them right now. Other teams should stick to their play style. If one team wants to adapt it just to try it out, sure. But I don't think it's going to work the way they think or want it to work. So just, just our overall perspectives. Now let's talk about the list of pros and cons. We got going on for us right now. Big pros. Records are being broke, broken and the game of cricket, especially test cricket, is evolving. We're seeing individual and team spirit peak and more wins coming for the English team during this time. We're all see, also seeing test match cricket being put back on the map in the place where it belongs. We're, everybody loves it right now. We're drawing more crowds to the game. Wherever England goes, everybody's following. They want to see this new style of cricket. They want to enjoy the game that they once loved or still loved. Okay? We're seeing more family participation. We're seeing more growth in club membership. And we're inspiring future generations to play this beautiful game that we all know and love. Such great pros. Now, obviously, with pros, you will have cons. Right about now, subpar performance due to being over aggressive is definitely a big one. <coughs> As we are currently seeing in India, the English team are definitely going way overboard and way too hard at trying to take the attack to the bowlers. I understand it's not your home turf, I get that, but at the same time, you still have to play smart cricket, fundamental cricket mixed with aggression. This is something they, they should have done. This is something they did in the first test. This, this is something they should have carried on and continued to do. They did not do that. Also, another con is the fact that there's a big misunderstanding be, 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 between what their coaches want, what the coach wants, and what they are doing on the pitch. Definitely a big misunderstanding. If you don't see it there, something's wrong. Brent McCollum's like, hey, we're not just looking at aggression of the game. We are looking for more. We're looking for an outcome. So he is definitely wanting his team to be, hey, put two and two together. Basic fundamentals plus aggression. You will get there. Number three, we are seeing high criticism coming from everyone. But in all fairness, when you decide to try something new, especially in a game that's been so established, you're always going to meet criticism. I'm pretty sure when the first dude walked out there with a helmet to protect his head, he probably got called a sissy. Yo, bro, you battle with a helmet? Man, stand up and face the ball like a man. And now, years later, we've adapted that as a safety measure. Look, I'm not saying basketball is going to be adopted by everyone. I already explained that. But some teams may adapt it because they like the, the way it goes. They like bringing the crowds back to test cricket and having their community and nation involved in this sport. It could just be the case, all right? Now, and last, my last pro obviously is lack of using fundamentals of the game. It's clear as day. I don't have to keep explaining that. They're not using it. They're being super over aggressive right now. So I definitely feel they need to go back. That is a big con for them. Now, honestly speaking, if I were to term basketball, I think I would define it differently. 
honestly speaking. I wouldn't define it as a highly aggressive man because I don't think that's not what Brendan McCollum is going for. If I were to turn it, and I wrote this down to make sure, I would more put it as this. The team, that, right, if they're using this tactic, approaching each game with a determination to score runs quickly and collectively by playing aggressive and fundamental cricket shots and then restricting their opponents in an effort to achieve victory. This, in turn, will enhance or make better the experience that each player and fan has and bring out their love for this game. That, that would be my definition of this. That would be my hope for this because you know what? I love seeing aggression in all formats of the game, but I also love seeing sensible cricket being played, strategic cricket being played across all formats. It doesn't matter the format of the game, cricket is still cricket. And if this is something new that will help us move forward, I say go for it, all right? Like I said, not every team will like it. Teams should play their own style of cricket. If this is what's working for England, keep doing it. If they have to restructure it, restructure it. But honestly, don't be so hard on them. Don't run out there saying blah, 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 blah. Because you know what? When they were struggling and everybody was still saying blah, 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 blah and fire up the last coach because they lost the Ashes, no one had their side. When they start winning using this format, everybody's like, yo, let's go. So now that their plans are having a little bit of hiccups, don't give up on them. Let's see where this goes. Let's see where it takes them. Because if this can help test cricket, hey, it's all in a good, good way and will help the game to continue to progress. Anyway, let us know in the comments below what do you think of basketball? Do you think it has more pros than cons? Do you think it will change the game for the better? At least for England or for any other team of that? And you know we're going to talk about it. Where else everyone? But right here on We Talk Cricket. And I'll catch you next time so we can talk some more. Later.